This tutorial is a request for Smitty Werb and Jagerman Jensen. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a StarCraft map editing tutorial. So, we're going to start our, not on the magnificent map of map making because this particular request by what I said earlier, I'm not saying that name again, <laughs> is for, oh my words, getting campaign units in a custom map. So we're going to go to a brand new map here. We're going to go onto Arcade. And we're going to include the campaign data for Legacy of the Void. I'm going to go next, and that will start our document. Give that but a moment to begin. Do hurry up. If this takes. Ah, oh, good. Right. And um, we do not want story mode to be the texture set. You will be given a large black map. It is most unpleasant. We're going to go for the space platform. We're going to just. Make our map a bit smaller, there's no need for it to be big. And we're going to say OK. So we'll be spending most of our time in the data editor for this particular tutorial. Right, so what I'm going to do to show how to produce campaign units, as you've saw, we've made sure we have the campaign dependencies in part of, as part of our map, sorry. So I've done tutorials on making certain things, so I'm going to just go and grab the standard supply depot. Sorry if you can hear my typing. And what we're going to do is, hmm, we do this. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out how, because I've not pre done this, but I'm just winging it because it's something I already know how to do. So we're going to say train, train camp, which is going to stand for training the campaign units. This is a build ability. Or is it? No, it is a train ability. My apologies. And we're not going to copy it from anything. We're going to leave it like that. So because we've got the campaign dependencies in, straight away, we can, once this loads, thank you, go into the train ability. And a lot of the work is done for you if you literally want the actual campaign unit, say like a clone. So, oh, what, what's a campaign? Sorry for that. What's a campaign unit I like? I have to admit, I love Dragoons. Dragoons are really good fun. Um, yeah, passive production for Dragoons. Interesting. Warp in, warp in. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's just some capitalization. Let's, let's have the normal one. Um, if I'm doing this wrong, I'm going to start again, but it'd be fine. So, we've chosen the button, Warp in Dragoon. That's pretty standard. And then we are going to find the unit this ability will produce. And that will be, of course, the Dragoon. And let's see, we're going to make it take two seconds. The cost of a Dragoon is already set on the Dragoon unit. And that's that's done. That is the ability done. So now if we go to Supply, because we're going to add this to a Supply Depot. That's in Units, don't it? Excellent. And we're going to go to Instabilities card. Now if this is a bit fast, it's because I've already done tutorials that are quite similar. Um, just so you are aware, our ability is called Train Camp. We're going to add it. And we're going to go into graphic version of the data editor so that we can get right on the command card. It's just a bit faster than opening it up separately. Now, we're going to. Train Camp's already been added. We've done that. I'm getting ahead of myself there. So we're going to add the button we selected, which was the correct capitalization of Warping Dragoon. That one. And the it's an ability command. If my clicking is up to scratch, can't, I'm not a good sniper, am I? Train camp, and we only have one ability in there, which is to warp in the Dragoon. So what I am going to quickly go and do is hop into the terrain editor. Now, uh, I'll have my channel trailer up soon. And I have to admit, I was—I didn't realise while I was recording it, but I was doing a fantastic. My tone of voice was absolutely fantastic. It was a very similar to that you find in Monty Python, and um, I did enjoy it. And I think it's just because I woke up, because the same day, I'd done the Terratech video, the very first one, and I sound—I sound quite unenthusiastic in that, which I reassure you is not the case. But um, why am I here? I want to go to the terrain editor. There we are. Right. So we're going to find our supply depot. So note that I'm using the supply depot just because. It's a building I like, it's quite cool. That's it. There's no other room. 
whatnot about it. I want a mineral crystal. And I want some Vespine. So obviously I'm assuming that in your own map you're going to have plenty of ways to earn resources properly. Um, I said if that's if you want a tutorial on different ways to earn resources that can uh, be arranged. And we're going to get a uh, Dragoon out beforehand as to collect those for us. Now hoping that I've done this right I'm going to press play. And hoping that my recorder realizes I also want it to capture this test would be phenomenal. If not, I shall just reassure you it works, and you will have to believe me. And that will be that. So this is just loading now. Also, I hope that I've put down units I can control and they are the right team, because I also did not check that. Because, as I said, <laughs> I have to admit, I've not opened the editor in a few mo in a few weeks, a few months maybe, a month or two been working on something else which there will also be a video about soon I expected that this is loud but I believe I've muted my audio here's our Dragoon nom 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 and then we have here Warping Dragoon and that is us training campaign units so the trainability is what decides that we don't need a cybernetics core for these so it's in your trainability you add requirements so you can add requirements like for heroes for instance that you can only have one or that you must have a particular building or so on and so forth obviously the cost and the supply are modified on the units data editor part uh, but build time that was funny noise sorry build time is set by the build ability so that's trainable campaign units there's not much more for me to say on that um, I hope that helps as I said if you come across any of the troubles I'm not going to attempt to say the gentleman's name again, or well, whoever it is, gentleman, lady. But um, <laughs> oh, go on in, Smitty, oh, Smitty Werben Jagerman Jensen, go me. There's your tutorial. So thank you very much, and I shall catch you guys for the next one. Goodbye.